Hello, I'm Dr. Jim Anderson. I publish five separate blogs, and each one of those blogs has roughly about 250 blog posts. I was seriously in the need of a good archive system for my blogs. Now, I did a lot of research over the last couple months to find out a way to do this, and my biggest challenge was that I didn't want a single archive, but rather what I wanted to do was have a single archive page for each one of the categories that I had posted my blog posts under. It turns out that this was a difficult search. The good news is that I think that I've solved this problem, and that's what I'm going to share with you during this short video. So the blog that we're going to be using for the example today is a blog called The Accidental Product Manager. It's a reasonably successful blog that's been around for about four years or so. Well, that means that it has a fair number of posts associated with it. So I've run into a problem. I don't have an archive function. You see that I do have an archive button on the top. I'll go ahead and click on it here. Now this archive is being provided to me by a plugin that I'm currently using. You'll see that the archive that it produces basically lists the posts that have been added to the blog by month. And this is, you know, this is a good start, but what I really want to do is be able to have my archive be set up so that I can list out blog posts by category and have one category per, per page. And that's a functionality that this blog just doesn't have yet. So the whole purpose of this video is to show you how to use built-in WordPress functionality to add a uh, uh, per category, per page functionality to your blog. Let's go inside the blog now. We'll bring up the blog control panel. Gotcha. And then the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, take a look at the blog post. Now once again the blog's been around for about four years or so. You can see I have about 18 pages of blog postings with about 20 uh, blogs per page. That comes out to be uh, probably a little bit over 300 uh, individual blog posts. Now if we uh, take just a brief moment and take a look at how I've done categories for this particular blog, you'll see it's not a pretty story whatsoever. So click over here on categories. You'll see that I have over 140 different categories associated with the blog post for this blog. Uh, that's a mistake on my part. It turns out that the experts tell us that we probably want to have between five and eight different categories for the blogs that we have in a blog post. Uh, so clearly, I've got some work to do here. What I have to do as a separate function is to take all these 140 plus categories and sort of boil them down into between five and eight. And I think I can show you how I'm doing that here. I'll go to the end of my category list. Let me go back up one because I went a little bit too far. So let's just scoop back one page here. Da, 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 da. There we go. Um, let me scroll down to the bottom here. You'll see that uh, the, the categories that begin with a Z dash, these are the uh, list of eight categories that I'm going to use for this particular blog. It's only important for this discussion is because when I create my uh, new archive function, I want to have a single page for each one of these Z dash archive categories. So effectively, I'm going to create uh, you know eight different category uh, archive pages. So that's the goal of what we want to achieve here. Uh, the, my recalibration of this is a little bit of a work in progress, but we're going to put that off for another day. So let's see how we're going to go out doing this. The very first thing that we want to do is we want to go up and we want to tell WordPress that we'd like to create a brand new page. So let's go ahead and do new page. Give me just a moment here to get this right. All right, great. So we'll just give the page a generic sort of title. We're going to give it a good title of uh, archive, if I can perhaps spell that correct. The most important thing here is what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to go down where WordPress asks us what template we'd like to use with the page. We're going to tell it we want to use the archive template. Once we do that, we can go ahead and it's as simple as that. We can go ahead and publish the page. Nothing more complicated than that. Now that we've gone ahead and created this brand new page, given it sort of a generic title, told it that we want to use the archive template. Uh, the next thing we want to do probably is, hey, let's go ahead and uh, take a look and see. <laughs> uh, actually, I apologize, missed one step here. Uh, great page, great archive page. Problem is we can't get to it. So let's go over here and click on appearance. And then because we're using WordPress 3.0 or greater, you'll see that we have a option here that says menu. When we go here, it brings up the menu. For this blog, you can see that I already, over here on the right, I already have a menu. It currently has five items on it. Now that we've created this brand new archive page, what we'd like to do is add the archive to our menu. So we'll go down here where it lists out all the pages that we have in the blog. We're going to find the archive page, select it. We're going to say add to menu. 
And then what it's going to do is it's going to tuck it in there at the very bottom. All right, we'll go ahead and say Save Menu. Click, and then I think we're pretty much good to go. It's as simple as that. Let's go back, and now that we've saved everything, let's take a look and see what our blog actually looks like. So we'll bring up the front page of our blog with a quick click. All right, here we go. You see on the far right, we now have a brand new menu item called Archive. Let's click on it and see what comes up. Give it just a moment here. Here we go. Pow. All right, so uh, we're getting closer. We're not quite there. So what we, this is the WordPress default archive, okay? You'll see it lists everything by date there, so you can click on it and bring up any of your blog postings on a date basis. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that it listed by category. All right, this is getting a little bit closer to where we wanted to get, but we're still not quite there. So uh, what do these category posts sort of take a look at? Well, maybe what we can do is we come down here, we can go ahead and... Uh, figure out uh, which one we'd like to go ahead and select here. So, uh, uh, easiest thing to do, I'll tell you what. Why don't we go over here and we'll select, I think it's like careers. Why don't we go ahead and click on that one, click, and see what it brings up for us. Pow! You know, that's effectively what we'd like to do here. It's a single page archive uh, of uh, all of the blog posts that related to a, a particular category. Fantastic. That's what we'd like to do. Now, let's go ahead and scroll back. We're close, but we're not quite there. Let's see. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into WordPress. We're going to go back to the menu page. What we're going to do here is we're actually going to go ahead and scroll down just a little bit here. Okay, scrolling down just a little bit. What you're going to see on the bottom down here is you're going to see actually this is a list of all the categories. So I'm going to find the categories that uh, I want to have my archive created for, the Z dash ones. I'm going to select each one of them, and then go over here and say move to menu. Fantastic. Of course, I just blew up my menu, right? So if I brought up my page, I'd have like 10 different menu items. This would be crazy. It'd be out of control. But what's really nice is that WordPress gives us another level of control. What I can do is select one of the uh, categories that I just added to my menu. Let me go ahead and grab it here. And I just move it off to the right, just a notch. And you see that I'm doing this under the archive uh, uh, tab that's already on my menu. So what this is going to cause to happen is when I click on archive now, I'm going to have a pop-out menu that will now list each one of my categories, which is perfectly exactly what I want to have happen. Now, I don't really want to have uh, these uh, menu items be Z dash something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step in here real quickly, and I'm just going to edit them because you can make your menu labels be anything you want to be. So in my particular case, I'm just going to, for each one of these, just going to do a real quick edit here, get rid of the Z dash, chink chink, and we'll get that one all taken care of. And then it'll look all pretty. And then we'll, our very next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back to the main blog page and we're going to bring up the menu and I'm going to show you that effectively what we've done is we've created uh, a brand new archive menu item. We're going to be able to bring up uh, single page archives on a per category basis. So uh, not bad because uh, we don't have to use any plugins, we don't have to use any fancy uh, code or anything like that. We're really just using built-in WordPress functionality. Alright, so that's all good. Uh, let's make sure we save our uh, our menu. Chink, chink. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Bop, bop, bop. We're all good with that. Now let's go ahead and bring up our uh, front page of the blog. Poof, there we go. All right, so we've still got archive off to the right, just like we had last time. Let's go ahead over and click on it and see what we've got. There we go. Look at that. That's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. So you'll see that we have a, a listing of all the categories that we're trying to produce an archive for. Now, if we go down, if we click on one of those particular categories, click. Pow exactly what we wanted. So it's a archive listing of the blog posts per category. So this is a particular category we want. There we go. We're good to go. This is exactly what we were shooting for. So once again, no plugins required or anything like that. Now, a little keynote here. If you go, if you, if you actually click on the word archive, 
which is what was always there, you'll still bring up sort of the uh, WordPress default archive, which lists all your blog postings both by date and also by category. And I'll have this category stuff straightened out fairly soon. It'll only be a list of eight when I'm all done. But in a nutshell, that's what we we're trying to do. And congratulations. Now you're all set to go ahead and do it for your blog too. Thanks for listening. You might be asking yourself, where do I go from here? The ability to successfully manage a product is a skill that it takes experience to get good at. If you want your career to take off, it sure makes sense to invest some time and energy into developing the skill. A great way to start doing this is to sign up for the free The Accidental Product Manager newsletter. This monthly publication is sent to your inbox and is overflowing with tips and techniques on how you can become a successful product manager whose products are the envy of all other product managers. We'll cover how to segment your customers, determine what kind of product they would be willing to buy, how to get your development team to do what you want them to do, how to work with the sales team, how to price your product, and we might even throw in a marketing tip or two. Hey, the newsletter is free, so you can't go wrong there. In the description of this video, you'll find a link that you can click on. Go ahead and click on it, and you'll be taken to a web page that will let you sign up for the free newsletter. There's even a free gift in it for you when you do. Thanks for watching this video. Sign up for the newsletter, and congratulations on starting your journey to accidentally becoming a successful product manager.